For today's video, we're going to be talking about ballistics gelatin. I use 10% ballistics gelatin, which is an FBI standard that was set. Better majority of the industry does. And when looking at bullets for FBI use, if the bullet fails to penetrate 12 inches into the block, the FBI considers it a failure and unfit for field work. On the other hand, penetrating past 18 inches yields a failure as well since it becomes over penetration risk. We're talking about hunting here. I'm not too worried about over penetration in general. You should know your target and what lies beyond, so that's not a risk. When you're calibrating 10% gelatin, um, and if you look it all up, it's all metric. Uh, but converting the centimeters to inches between three and four inches of penetration is what you want to see. This is about three and three eighths with um, your 0.177 BB traveling 570 feet per second, give or take just a little bit. So <clears throat> I also want to talk about that. People are like, oh, 10% resembles animals or not at all. Well, it resembles general tissue. It does not fully take into consideration hide or bone. Take that little BB at less than 600 feet per second and shoot that into the side of an elk. Is it even gonna break the skin? Yet I met a guy in Rollins, Wyoming when I was doing work on his home who shot an antelope with a little single cock BB gun that was chewing on a bush in his backyard. It ran up the hill and then came tumbling back down. Called the game warden, got it all taken care of properly. But even that little BB, when hitting something as thin skinned as an antelope, perfectly between the ribs, still went into one lung and killed the antelope. So, not only is a gelatin not an animal, not all animals are the same. Your bullet is primarily going to go through lung tissue on a perfectly placed shot. And lungs are full of air and not very dense. So things you wanna look at, how quick does that bullet open? A bullet that opens very quickly in gel will more than likely open quicker in an animal. And think about it, look at how much penetration you have at how low a velocity with the BB. You're opening this quick, you're gonna have more resistance on hide in that first little bit of meat and possibly some bone. If it's opening quick in gelatin, it's more than likely gonna open quicker on the side of an animal. So ideally, you would want to see three to four inches of penetration on gelatin. Start opening up, giving its better portion of its permalone cavity, ideally um, from the seven inch mark to about the 13 inch mark. Again, I'm just kind of basing that off of averages and the average uh, chest size of the big game animals in the lower 48. Uh, here's just where I have it marked where I like to see in my gelatin a good portion of permanent wound cavity knowing that's going to translate to a good portion of damage to the vitals in game. Any bullet, if you see, uh, it doesn't matter, like they'll come apart a little bit quicker in 20% gelatin, but side by side you get similar enough results. I don't like using it. Um, there's some out there that do. You gotta just understand kind of what you're seeing. But regardless of 10 or 20% gelatin, if you could cut this block in half and you saw all your business happening and permanent wound cavity done in pin line, that's a great varmint bullet probably shouldn't be used for big game hunting. Does that mean you can't? No, you can. I use the uh, Hornady's ELDMs in my 6.5 Creedmoor for white-tailed deer in Nebraska when I go back there hunting. And they work great for that. I've also used them for elk. I don't like them for elk in general. 
slow your muzzle velocities down, they actually make an okay elk bullet. But that elk's tougher hide and bone opens that bullet up so quick, yes, they still work, no, it's not ideal. So just know, gelatin is not an animal. An antelope is very different from an elk, which is very different from a moose, which is very different from a black bear. A lot of these tests are all based off of averages. You have to consider what animal you're hunting, look at information like this, and make the right calculations across. Different people have different opinions. You shoot what you want for whatever reasons you want. There are bullets that make phenomenal varmint bullets that make okay big game hunting bullets. Personally, I like to stick with um, bonded, partitioned, or monolithic bullets when I'm hunting medium to large and large game. Just as a rule of thumb. I think it's just better treatment of the animal knowing I have that extra stopping power. So that's just a few of my thoughts I'm sharing with you and trying to explain how gelatin is not an animal. Not all animals are the same. And so you really have to take that into consideration with the bullets you're picking for the game you're hunting. Yes, there are good bullets that cover the board well. And then there's bullets that are really good for one and not the other. Know your bullets. Know how to understand that information. Get out there. Hunt ethically. Make sure you're placing good shots. We want animals that good stopping power to go down quickly, humanely, and die as ethically as possible. So let's just get out there. Have a good time. Make sure you're using the right bullet for the job and show the animals the respect they deserve. Hope you guys enjoy the video.